Hi, my name is Charlie Hampton, and I'm an artist and I'm a creativity coach. I've been painting just over four years. My background is quite diverse. Um, I spent over 40 years in the forest industry. Uh, following that, uh, I spent 10 years as a business and life coach. Um, and as I said, for the last four years, I've been an artist. My art and my creative energies are inspired primarily by the shapes and colors that we see in nature. The Okanagan inspires my work in many ways. Uh, we have four seasons here with distinctive light and colors in every season. Um, so you can go to the same place in the spring and in the fall uh, and do it differently. I've got two pieces of art here that I'm uh, gonna auction off. One is the here and one is here. And I did these uh, together. Um, what made them different for me was that they were two feet by four feet, which is a different shape for me. Um, and it was interesting to see how to get a balanced uh, creation on a canvas that shape. As far as the painting goes, uh, I start every painting the same way. I put random marks on different colors and build layers and more marks. Um, and these paintings reflect that. When I started painting, uh, I bought some acrylic paints at the dollar store and just to see how it would work out. Um, I really love uh, acrylic paints. They're forgiving and they're versatile um, and you can get rich colors for sure. So, but I always just use acrylic paints as the base of my work. What really brings my work to life are the, uh, the array of marking tools that I use, everything from crayons to pencils to just anything I can find that'll make a mark. My art reflects my life for sure, because in the same way an abstract painting starts from a blank canvas and has no particular direction, you have to follow it to see where it's gonna go. And that's kind of how I live my life. Art affects my life in a couple of ways, because um, you run into a lot of issues and problems and unexpected things during the course of creating a painting um, and you need to work through them and move to move forward. And in the same way, life is uh, a meandering kind of a thing. And so you run into things that are unexpected and you got to figure them out. The art community that I feel part of, uh, to me, uh, is great. You get to hang around with a lot of really cool people. I think the Catani House is important as a greater part of the creative community in Vernon. Uh, we really are fortunate to have a number of different areas where the creative energy comes together. The things that the Catani House do uh, bring a different kind of creative energy to the community, and so it's nice to have that diversity. Art's important to our community and to society in general because um, while some people might think so, I believe that art has no rules. It has guidelines and it, enc it encourages people to behave in new and different ways. Um, artists are all different shapes and sizes and there are no good or bad artists. Uh, and as long as we can approach uh, the world of art uh, non-judgmentally, we're open to a lot of different things. Um, and you know what? Uh, the world can use a lot of that these days.